Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And can I just say, you guys are amazing. Because in the last video, I asked you to get 200 likes in 24 hours uh, to make the uh, long range range tests of the Gotway MSS by EUC service. And this goal was already reached by like five hours we've been publishing the video. So huge thumbs up for that. Thank you so much. And I think you'd just like to see me suffer. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, let me tell you more about it. Wrong way. Now look guys, this will be a very painful process for me as you probably can imagine. So I need to make sure that I don't go above 35 kilometers an hour. So let me just show you the MSS is here place. And if I just connect the charger, it should not be charging. Okay, it's still charging, but it'll be just charging for like 20 seconds. Okay, actually like two minutes passed and you can see that yes, it is not charging anymore. I can disconnect the cable and now I need to uh, prepare the device. Yeah, to make it long range suitable. So let me just get into EUC world. Okay, you can see 100%. And now when we go into wheel settings, I will make the most terrible adjustment I can do, which is speed alerts. The maximum speed will be, I hate, I really, really hate this alarm. So yeah, this will be the setting for the next probably 100 kilometers or more. Oh my God, this is terrible. Okay, so let's turn on off the light and not waste too much range. And I'll see you when I'm all dressed up to go outside. These are barefoot shoes. Make you feel the wheel better. Here's where I make the Instagram photos. Go follow on Instagram. Alright, so range test is on. This is by the way the Kynax Sports Tracker app. And yeah. Okay, I've actually set the alarm to 32 kilometers an hour and I have a couple of errands to do today. Uh, so, of course, in the mask and all that stuff, I have to grab some earth for plants that my girlfriend is planting at home. And also I have to get to a pretty far, oh my God, tilt back, pretty far part of town uh, to test the EV4 Gremlin. Uh, which uh, and the video of it should be already out on the channel um, Anyways, maybe you did not know about it. So I'm gonna tell you about it electric vehicles are actually the only The only way I am getting around town in Warsaw okay, A bit San Francisco style or New York style here um, That's also why I purchased a wheel myself um, Wherever I go I go with a personal electric vehicle if it's 30 kilometers out of town 40 doesn't matter uh, sometimes I will use the train um, I don't really like buses or and I really don't like taking Ubers because most of the time they have petrol vehicles so sometimes I also do take uh, Innoji Go which is a service like car sharing service in uh, Warsaw which only does have electric vehicles so yeah I try to I try to minimize the carbon footprint oh nice I just uh, also want to stay um, quite independent and this is what these vehicles do and when I get vehicles actually this is a part that you don't see so much in my videos most of the time I go there on for example a scooter and uh, leave the scooter and get the other scooter for testing or for example I go with a wheel and then I have the wheel on my scooter 
and just go on a scooter or maybe I am just driving the wheel driving on the wheel and uh, just carrying the scooter by hand so so maybe some of you might think that I make my job just unnecessarily hard but this is just what I like I like being independent I love staying outside in the fresh air and the sunny beautiful weather that is now available across the world and most of the northern hemisphere so that's what I do okay enough raving let's put some miles on this thing Yeah, luck I'm not on the road. And if it wasn't clear enough, I don't own a car. <laughs> I sold my car like a year ago and it was probably one of the best decisions I've ever made because it was just so crappy and just... I put so much money into it. So what you see here is actually uh, the place where all the metro is stored in Warsaw. This is about it. There are like two places, one here. You see the metro sign right there? Yeah, metro sign. Here, here is the starting point of the metro. And I always take this route to my mom because it's the shortest one. And I also have to go through man. I have to go through the forest, which I'll show you in a second. So now there's lots and lots of people, like even in the mid days. Ah, uh, I go into the forest. And right here is where the forest starts. Nice. The really nice thing about the electric unicycle, you have a huge wheel which makes pretty much every ter terrain doable and comfortable. Monocykl elektryczny. Monocykl elektryczny. To też jest monocykl, a ten jest na elektrykę. Działa na baterii. Nie and you see, these scenarios are just something that happens only when you're on an electric unicycle. When you have a powerful scooter, you might go like, whoa, or cool, but, but I don't really find the enthousi enthousi enthusiasm and the awe that the electric unicycle creates, which uh, really just shines a new light on electric transportation. And this is also part of the reason why I have an electric unicycle, just because it stands out a bit more and it makes good advertisement for all of us PV riders. Now we are back on the road. That's definitely a place where I could use just a bit more speed, but all I have is... Yeah, I hate the beeps. So, 30 kilometers an hour it is. Oh, that's the limit here, by the way. Good for me. I gotta say, this low speed range test really becomes some sort of meditation. So after arriving at my first spot, I actually still have 100% battery left after 15 kilometers. This will be a very long ride. So as you did just see, I completed my first errand of the day. And now I'm on my way not to get earth, but to get soil. That's what I meant. Soon we'll go back in town and still limit, of course, where it's been speed alert at 32 kilometers an hour. Let's go.
Okay, so we have just arrived at Le Roi Merlin, but there is actually a huge, huge waiting line. So I don't really want to wait here. our second option and 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 it's open so sadly it turns out they don't have what I'm looking for I just left the wheel up front where the security is uh, you definitely would not be able to do that with a scooter. I mean, maybe you could, but definitely a bit harder. So. Before we approach the next shop, I just wanted to show you guys my least favorite sort of intersection here. Yeah, you can see just how annoying it is sometimes for pedestrians and cyclists to just go through an intersection. So here it is. You can see here, it is red on one side and it's green for cars to go up front and right. So the cars basically never have to wait when they go up front, but they have to wait when they go right in case there is a red light here. So you can see actually there in the back, there's already a green light. I usually take the red light here because I like my life too much. I don't like wasting time, but now I want to show you how much it takes if you were to just to always respect the law and not across a red light so still waiting I can ramble on for a long time okay finally it's green and now we, we are in a situation where now these cars have to go left and right but the pedestrians have to wait still so for a car to cross this intersection going from there it takes like no time at all but for pedestrian, it takes way longer. And it also depends on like which light will be first and so on and... Oh man, it's just hyper annoying. I think that people that pollute the world less should have it easier to cross the, uh, cross the city. It should be, you know, easier to convince people to get onto PAVs, walking, cycling, instead of all this combustion and smoke and noise pollution that is created in the city. Anyways, here we are getting close to the third shop. Hopefully there is not a huge waiting line there. Yeah, I think that's long enough for me to wait, so... Yeah. Let's get this way. So there are actually also upsides to this sort of trolley handle. Okay, I have all this stuff I have needed. Around 10 kilograms of soil is now in my backpack, so you have to encounter that in the range test. Now, let's get back home. Okay, so in the meantime, I did get back home, yes. and yes, you can see I actually have 40 kilometers on the clock and 79% left. Yeah, if you, if you think that combustion par cars are quiet, well, think again. Uh, I'm on my merry way to 
EV4 currently had a small rest at home and EV4 is actually on the other side of uh, the river in Warsaw so um, yeah it's around 10 to 15 kilometer trip probably but the nice thing is that actually all along this route this route is a bicycle path so that's a great thing um, and I think along highways and bigger routes there should always be a cycling path because you know you can also make longer distances on PVs and of course uh, bicycles look spring beautiful spring yeah this is a route I take very very often because it's also the same route as it is to cycle an e-bike so I know it like by hard part of riding any smaller electric vehicle or bicycle is that you can just stop on the bridge this is the best part look at them they have to go they have to go 70 80 kilometers an hour all the time and I will just go into a halt and experience the beauty that is visible from this bridge This is a super nice part to electric vehicles, portable electric vehicles. You can stop anywhere you want and enjoy the view. Okay, so we have just arrived at EV4. Uh, battery state is 60% and we have ridden for 52 kilometers. So now I'll do the video and I'll get back to you and I will be driving back home. Okay, so I just finished recording the video with the EV4 Gremlin and I'm on my merry way again to stack up some miles. Come on, how often do you see three bulldozers at once? <laughs> and they are slower than 30 kilometers an hour. Okay guys, we have just arrived. Bulwary Wiślane. Really like this route. A lot of PV riders in Warsaw frequently use this route because there are no lights at all. It's just a bicycle path slash pedestrian path next to the river is beautiful uh, these boulevards were just opened on Monday because of the thing so now it's like the first time in I don't know two to three weeks since I'm actually visiting these Vistula boulevards so yeah I'm quite enjoying it sky is blue and I can see the beeper actually so well I wonder how I did not notice it before look it's so well visible, the laser beeper, so good. Anyways, there we have the stadium. But anyways, I'm rambling on too much. Let's check the battery state real quick. Uh, all right, we have ridden, can you see it? Yeah, 73 kilometers and we have, how much battery? You can see it, 38% uh, left. So. I just want to keep uh, riding a bit more. I will do another 15 km kilometers probably. So we finish off today at 90 kilometers. That's my prediction. And we will finish it off tomorrow. So yeah. The MSP lights just shines all over the place. I think I have to customize it. Okay, now we're gonna, gonna have a bit of a climb here. 
So our battery will suffer just a bit. Uh, yeah, but that's just the way I want to take here. And I gotta say, the MSS with the Nikola pedals is just so comfortable. I actually don't feel any strain at all. It's, it's amazing. It's really amazing. Normally this place would be all lit up, but since the hotels are closed, that's just the situation right now. Look, nobody is sleeping in a hotel today. Okay, so we are reaching the end of uh, part one, or to just today's uh, test. We have done, mesdames et messieurs, Monsieur Flexis, 95 kilometers! Yay! So, I could do definitely do a bit more today. I mean, I don't feel a strain, but I do want to rest a bit, like mentally, uh, and have still some energy to see that uh, <laughs> to um, make videos tomorrow and be just full of energy tomorrow so we have 22% left when we are riding so probably have like 25 when we are still still here we have a person that thinks he's a bicycle so I'm very curious about the result I think we will actually beat the range of the Dultron X which was I think 110 kilometers something around that uh, not really sure how much it will be finally but I guess we'll find out tomorrow First thing in the morning, range test. Okay, guys, so I just woke up, 8 a.m. in the morning, before breakfast, before anything, range test. Um, so yeah, we have 96 kilometers uh, already of range. At stood still, I had 27% of battery left. So I'll just do some more kilometers and we'll see what happens. Anyways, 105 kilometers on the clock, uh, when riding I have around 12%, so I think we have just enough juice to get back home. Still around 6% left, 116 kilometers on the clock. Yes, finally. Okay, so finally you can hear the wheel is beeping at me all the time. I think that, yeah, the fill pack starts to kick in too. But I actually have still like three kilometers to go back home. So yeah, we'll try to reach that. This is technique number one for a soft tilt back. Yeah, tilt back starts to get stronger and stronger. I have to use technique two. The thinking man. Like this. Now I can turn it off for a short while. You see that the tilt back is really strong. And for a brief moment, for like maybe 500 meters, it will go flat. I can feel it setting in. Okay guys, so I think it's uh, fair to say that I can maybe go on for 
another 50 or 100 meters but no, not more than that so battery is empty let's check the results we have done 125 kilometers on the wheel one charge that's more than the Dualtron X okay I'll review the results at home on the video subscribe to see more content like this i'll see you in the next video see you soon